Hey guys, this is a video about uh, contacting or messaging the bloggers once you have found them. So once you have found uh, a bunch of blogs in the correct category and you have them in your uh, Google document like this, then it's time to start contacting them of course you can uh, contact them as you go but just remember to put them inside your google document I have uh, one example here making sense of sense this is uh, a personal finance blog making sense of sense.com on her blog I found her email address here so now uh, I will show you guys how I go about uh, contacting her but th the thing to keep in mind is that uh, you should <coughs> you should try to contact these bloggers on as many platforms as possible you know in as many ways as possible so email Facebook Instagram Twitter you know multiple platforms because then your chances of actually getting a reply and actually getting them to to book a call increases a lot so in this example I found her email address first thing I'll do is to send her an email and I'll <coughs> I will use my uh, personal email address because I'm reaching out to her personally and that's what uh, you guys are going to do as well you're reaching out personally as a person on my behalf so uh, using your personal email is just fine and then you go to the instruction manual this Google document and if you scroll down to it's around page 20 there is a uh, different versions of cold outreach messages to use so in this case I will use uh, the version number one <coughs> and I just uh, copy the subject line that as the as the, the subject and then I copy the actual message text Put that in there. Paste it in. But it's important to, of course, edit this. Hi, Jesse. Hi, Jesse here. It's not going to say Jesse. It's going to be your name. So in here, you remove this and you put in your name here. So if your name is uh, Joshua. You put in Joshua here. That it's your name. I'm reaching out to you on behalf of Robert S. From Guaranteed Results Consulting. Sincerely. Here too, you have to edit it. And put in your name. So if your name is Joshua. You put in Joshua here, so it's sincerely Joshua. I put that in here. Not Jesse, but your name. So once you have taken your name, you take away that. So it just reads sincerely your name here on behalf of Robert S. from Guaranteed Results Consulting.
And then you can uh, send the email. Once you have done that, send the email. You should also try to find them on uh, multiple social media <coughs> multiple social media platforms. But you know, first of all, maybe the first thing you could do is to go through all these uh, messages. I have them ready. Just uh, edit it so that it uh, it's your name in there. And then you can put them inside your uh, your own Google document. But yeah. Once you have found them on uh, or sent email if you have it. If you don't have your email address, you should try to send a message with through their uh, contact form on their blog. Sometimes they have that like uh, forms where you can put in email and uh, message inside their blog and click on a button that sends the message to them. Then search on uh, Facebook. I search for making sense of sense. The same blog I uh, show the email example to. And here you can click message. And then you can se send the exact same message on Facebook as you did on email. Of course, you don't have to include the subject line, but uh, you can use the same message. Then I also use uh, Twitter and uh, Instagram. I actually found her on uh, both of those platforms as well. <coughs> but, uh, but Twitter, at least uh, Instagram, it's easiest to just use uh, your smartphone. Because uh, it's not, not that easy to navigate on a laptop. So yeah. Because if you do that, then you... You know, if you do that, you message them on multiple platforms. Yeah, but why not just message them on email? Isn't that enough? No, the thing is that uh, emails, sometimes they get uh, ignored or overlooked or things happen, but if you message them on multiple platforms, your uh, probability of success skyrockets. And yeah, one more, <coughs> one more thing, when you search for these people on uh, social media, you can search for the name of their blog, like I did here, but also what you should do is to search for uh, the name of the person that is running the blog in addition to that. In this case, her name is Michelle Schrader Gardner. Look, this is also her Facebook profile, her personal Facebook profile. There you can also message her. And you can do the same on uh, all plat <coughs> all the social media platforms. Search for the name of the blog and the name of the person that owns the blog. Because then it can be a lot easier to find. And of course you can message them on both, both their uh, personal profile and their blogger or professional profile. Yeah, and by the way, another important point to keep in mind is that when you message them, once you have sent the message, the first thing you should do right away 
if it's possible, is to comment on one of their posts. Here it was not possible because I was not yet a friend. Sending a friend request, if you're not already friends with them, sending a friend request is uh, a good idea because then if you're friends with them, it's a lot easier for them to, to see your messages. Just let me go back and show you. Here, once you have sent them a message, either on Facebook or uh, Twitter or Instagram, wh wherever it is, you just go to one of their posts and you comment something positive. If you don't find something uh, relevant to post, you know, something relevant to comment, you just can write something like, uh, Hi, I just sent you a DM. Please check. First, then they will get uh, one not notification about the comment and another notification about the message. So this, this way, the chance of your message actually being read increases a lot. This is important. Send them a message, then immediately go to one of the posts and uh, make a comment. Because oftentimes, especially on Facebook, messages can land in the the message request box instead of the actual inbox. So yeah. And when it comes to the actual conversations you will have with these people inside uh, Facebook Messenger or email or Instagram or wherever it is, you just uh, try to answer the questions they have that you know the answer to and then uh, try to lead them to, to get them to book a free call or a free strategy call with me. Then once that I get them on a call, I will personally try to to sell them myself. So you, you don't have to do any selling, you just have to get them to book a free strategy call with me. And if there is uh, any questions they have that you don't know the answer to, you can feel, feel free to reach out to me and ask me if I know the answer to it. Or you could just uh, tell them that, uh, sorry, I, I'm not sure what uh, the exact answer is to that question. But if you, if you just book uh, a free strategy call with Robert, I'm sure he's uh, probably, I'm sure he probably knows the answer to it. Or you can ask him yourself. So you just try to lead them to, to book a free strategy call. And you know, what do they have to lose? On the free strategy call, I will explain them how they can make more money with email marketing. How I can help them do it on a guaranteed basis. And, uh, you know, what do they have to lose? They might, you know, they might uh, double, triple or even quadruple the profits from their blog just by uh, me helping them with email marketing. So when you're reaching out to these people, you are not uh, spamming them. You're actually trying to find bloggers that I can help make more money. So together we are actually trying to find bloggers and help them make more money through email marketing. So uh, for a lot of these bloggers, you'll probably ending up, probably end up being uh, kind of like a, a blessing in disguise, you know. The ones we get uh, as clients, and that you will get paid uh, a commission for, I think they will be extremely glad that uh, you actually contacted them and uh, got them to book that call because you know, this can uh, definitely help a lot of bloggers. 
you know, this service, this me helping them with email marketing. Let me just uh, check my notes. So yeah, I think that's it. So yeah, quickly summarize. If you find your email address, send them an email. If you did not find your email address, try to use the contact form inside their blog if they have that. Then in addition to that, try to contact them on as many platforms as possible. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok if they have that. And search for both the name of their blog and the name of the author or the owner of the blog. Alright. Talk to you guys in... Uh, the next video.